today for a demo of the Alakay Naturals Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner, okay? I bought, I purchased this, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I purchased this while I was in Indiana at the Black Expo that they had and there was a nice young lady that was there and she definitely was selling these products and I put her information at the bottom um, of that video, but I'll definitely put them at the bottom as well, but you could definitely get this from Alakay too. So, um, before I get into it, I'm dripping all over the place because I just freshly, I just washed my hair out. I was going to do a rinse out conditioner, the Spanish conditioner, but it is too late. It's about like 9 something or about to be 10 o'clock and I don't have time to do all those steps. So I will probably do that next week. Um, today was my protein treatment time. I hope, um, if not, it's not going to hurt. Um, I do it every other month or yeah, I try to do it every other month and I did my DIY protein treatment with the mayonnaise and the egg and the oils and stuff like that. If you guys are new to my channel, definitely please go check out that video. I definitely show you how to mix it and how I applied it to my hair. I'll definitely link it in the description bar below. So please check the description bar below. If I don't put it there, please remind me. And, um, but just look it up, you know, on my, um, on my channel and it'll definitely pop up when you type in protein treatment. But just to make it easier for you guys, it's going to be at the bottom link below. I meant bottom <laughs> description bar below. Okay. So, um, prior to getting to this point, I, like I said before, I did a protein treatment. I didn't do a hot oil treatment because I add the oils that I do my, uh, my hot oil treatment with. I added it to my DIY protein treatment. So there was no need to do the hot oil treatment. I believe I did a hot oil treatment in that video. I'm not sure where I stated that I did. So, um, but this time around, I started on my hair late, so I just decided not to do the hot oil treatment. And I do my protein treatment on um, on dry hair. My hair is not washed or anything like that, so I apply it on dry hair. I do that with any type of protein treatment that I use. Either it be already mixed or what have you. I just always do it on dry hair. I left it on my hair for 30 minutes this time, 30 to 40 minutes because I had the oils in there. So I was kind of, you know, killing two birds with one stone. So I wanted to make sure it really penetrated, sorry, into my head. So, into my hair, I'm sorry. So... I washed that out and then I applied, I did my Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair co-wash and I put that in my hair and rinsed that out and now I'm here. So I'm going to do the deep, um, deep conditioner and after this I will be doing a rinse out with the main element love, um, uh, what, oh tea rinse, yes, yeah, with the tea that came in the curl collection. So I will not be doing that on camera, but if you guys want to see how I apply a tea rinse or how to do or make a tea rinse, I'm sure there are a lot of YouTube, you know, YouTubers out there that have, you know, I'm sure that there are, but if you want to see how I do it, just let me know and I'll definitely do it in, in when I, the next time, the very next time I do a, a tea rinse. And, um, you know, so if you guys want that, please let me know. But right now, I won't be recording that because I have a lot going on tonight. So, right now is the deep conditioner time. And I will show you how I rinse it out. Now, I'm going to go into the shower after, um, when I, after I'm done with the, um... I'm applying it and leaving it on my hair for an hour. I will attempt to show you how I rinse it out in the shower or, you know, and then, you know, and then come out the shower and let you guys see how it looks after. I hope this works. I have never done it in the shower and plus it's dark outside. So I don't know how this is going to work. I know I'm always worrying. I know my subscribers is like, oh, stop worrying. Okay, okay, okay. So um, we will see what happens, okay? So if you don't see it, you know the complications. <laughs> you know, you know. But um, yeah. So that's it for that. So after that, I'll be doing the tea rinse. After I rinse out my deep conditioner, I'll do the tea rinse. Then the, ne then another, the next clip after this, no, no, after I rinse it out, if I show you that clip and show you how my hair looks, I will be doing, um, I will be using the Curling Souffle by Shea, by Shea Moisture, okay? I hope this works. And I will be using it with my Curl Defining Cream because I'm not going to use it alone. A lot of people, but I know, you know, everybody's hair is different, but I just want to be sure, okay? And I don't want my hair looking like crazy, okay? So, hopefully it doesn't look crazy. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of lengthy, so just get your snacks and have a seat. Okay, so, but that's it about that. So now, I don't wanna make this too long, but that's basically what I'm about to do right now. If I forgot anything or mixed up anything, I'll definitely annotate it in a video. So I'm gonna get into it. Um, this is the Alloca Naturals Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. Okay, so here we go. This is my first time using this, okay? And um, I didn't, that's okay. All right, this is how it looks. All right, um, I don't know if you have to shake it up. Maybe let's try it out. Shake it up. Okay, all right, so here we go. That's how it looks. Okay, and then the consistency. It's not too thick and it's not, you know, it's not runny. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to be dancing. All right. So, um, okay. All right. So, you know, that's the consistency. Okay. So, you know how I do. I show you if you guys are not familiar and you're just now tuning in to my channel with this video being your first video. I always do a demo and I do a review after. Um, I might start trying to do, you know, the reviews within the demo, but I don't want the videos to be too, too long because I'm a very thorough person. So I try not to, um, you know, so I will see. But right now you will see a demo and then maybe a mini review of my, of how I felt about it after. And also you will see my facial expressions. So yeah, so we will see. So the smell smells like. If you ever had the Indian hemp grease um, back in the day, I my mom used to use it on my hair a lot, and you know that's what exactly what it smells like. It smells like Indian hemp. So yeah, it smells good. All right, so I am I got my hair section off, and my hair is freshly washed from the coconut. I mean from the co wash cancer shampoo for natural hair. And that's it, you guys. So I've been talking for too long, and now I'm gonna show you how I apply this. Okay, so. Yeah, so see you guys in the next clip.
everybody so i'm back with another clip just want to show you guys how my hair looks right after the shower yes i have a towel on so you guys don't think i'm having to on um yeah so this is how my hair looks so this is straight out the shower after the honey sage i washed the honey sage conditioner out as you saw in the other clip Right, my hair is okay. Sorry about that. All right, so um, you see some little curls back here. Okay, so all right, just some miniature thoughts about this conditioner. Um, I can still smell it on my hair. It's not too strong, but it's just a light scent. And when you apply it to your hair, it does smell like Vicks a little bit as well. So Indian hemp mixed with Vicks. Um, my hair does feel soft. It doesn't really feel stripped or anything like that. Um, so we'll see what happens when I start styling my hair. But for right now, first impressions, it's okay. Um, I have to see what's going on. I do my review. But it's looking tight decent. So yeah so um that's basically it you guys want to show you guys fresh out the shower how my hair looks and now i'm about to style my hair and the next clip you'll see is me applying the curling souffle on my hair all right you guys so that's it peace until the next clip hey everybody so this is the other clip as you guys see i did my braids already and i did most of i did the back already okay so the products that i've used um is the the shea moisture coconut hibiscus curling souffle um please if you see hair i apologize um okay and this is the next morning um i went to sleep because um it was late i was about like two o'clock in the morning and i was like i have to go to bed so i woke up and finished the rest of my hair so i won't be taking my hair out until tuesday morning and also i use the jane carter's curl defining cream you guys know this is my yeah so um my staple and it's definitely becoming my holy grail styler um, I really love the styler to death. So, I did a type of, not experiment, but some type of thing. Um, Tiandra did this on her channel, and I thought that was pretty cool to do to see if the products mesh well together. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the, the Curl Defining Cream and put some on the palm of my hand. Like so. Okay. Then I'm going to take another finger and dip it into the Curling Souffle. Put about the same amount and put the palm of my hand okay now i'm gonna swish it around okay all right that's the curling souffle and this is the um jane carter's curl defining cream okay so swishing it around swishing it around now the purpose of this is just to see if you know if they work well together and to see if you see any like little white stuff probably that was balled up I would probably have some type of residue but it looks like they both work well together so I don't have a problem so I did this when I saw this on Tiandra's channel and she did a gel and another but she didn't do these products she did some other products so um, go check her out but I was like oh that's cool so let me do that just to make sure if this product is gonna work on my hair with um with with something else because i wasn't going to use the curling souffle by itself because i've seen a lot of people have problems and it was mixing stuff with certain things and i was like you know what i'm gonna mix my you know my staple with my and i need some type of hold and i'm not sure if the curling souffle has a hold so i had to use one of my staples it was between the healthy hair butter and the um, curl defining cream but the healthy hair butter meshed well as well but I wanted to use the Curl Defining Cream because I knew it gave me some type of hold. So that's why I used the Curl Defining Cream. But some, but all the time I always use the Curl Defining Cream and the Carazola Healthy Hair Butter because of the beeswax and stuff like that. So anyway, 
that's what I did. And so when I did that, I was like, oh, okay, so these products work well together. Hopefully when it gets on my hair, it doesn't be a different, it does not be a different story. So I'm going to show you um, how I apply the products to my hair. I put the curl defining cream first as a base and then I apply the curling souffle and I will show you how much curl if I need cream I put on and I'll show you how much curling souffle I don't put that much curling souffle on there because I don't want to feel any tackiness or anything like that um so I just put a, a little bit you know just to ensure you know just in case it does make my hair feel a certain way and that's why I use the curl to find the cream as a base because you know just in case you know I don't want my hair to be feeling crazy so um so far my hair feels okay and um i had to wait till it dries so i'm trying to see should i wear a scarf today or just wear it out like this with the twist and i guess that's what i might do so um i will go into the dryer but i don't think i have time for all that so um i definitely will be taking this out on tuesday so um yeah I had to get my rest. I was like, I have to go to bed. I'm not going to be up all night, you know, still trying to do my hair and then take it out in the morning. So it still wouldn't have set because probably by the time I finished my hair, it would probably have been like 3 o'clock. So um, I have to start doing my hair early. When I come home on Sunday, just start doing it. I took a nap and that was the end of it. So, um, yeah, that's a whole other story. So you guys are going to see what I'm going to do with my hair and um, well, how I twist my hair. But you guys have seen how I twist my hair, but I'm just going to show you the amount of curling souffle and stuff that I put on my hair and things of that nature. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to show you the whole thing of me twisting. I might, but we will see, okay? So um, I'm going to speed this video up a little bit and um, stop talking, okay? See you next clip. Hello everybody. So I do not want to take up all of your time, but I just want to let you guys know what I am doing. I am applying the curl defining cream by Jane Carter Solution, and I'm showing you how much I'm applying to my hair, and I try not to apply that much. And I'm also using my Demon brush to smooth out my curls, and I'm using the curling gel souffle by Shea Moisture, and I am not using that much. Hopefully, you guys, you, you can see it, but I'll definitely show you in the review of how much I'm applying to my hair. So I did this on damp to dry hair like I said before in the video I woke up early in the morning to do this and so this is what I'm doing I did not sit under the dryer after this I let my hair air dry for the rest of the day and that's basically it so this is just basically my twisting routine that I usually do when I twist my hair and I also have a video a detailed video on my twisting routine if you guys want to check that out it may be a little bit outdated I'm probably doing things that you know that I might not be doing right now so I may have to update the video but just to give you a resource of where I how I do my twist out routine that's where you will go to watch it so that's basically it you guys I don't want to sit here and talk you to death but this is just basically you know what I did and how I apply these two products and I used the curl defining cream as a base because I was afraid of how my hair was going to turn out so I just wanted to use one of my staple stylers to help me out with this new product that I'm using and I ha I've never used this product before so I'm definitely will be giving a first impressions review when I do this um when I do my review it's going to definitely be a first impressions and it will definitely follow after right after this video so please stay tuned i was going to show you guys how it looks after i after the twist out how the twist out came but it, the video was too long so i didn't want to make it any longer so i really apologize for this demo being long but i wanted to be thorough with you guys like i always do so that's basically it you guys so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. If you don't want to ask in the comment section below, you can definitely ask me in my inbox, and I'll definitely reply back to you, okay? So that's basically it, you guys. Please enjoy the rest of the video, and please stay tuned for the full detailed review on the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Gel Souffle, okay, you guys? All right, have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day, blessed day, and watching this. Okay, bye.